again, I'm Kitty, back with another art exercise to help you relax and have some fun. To be able to drive benefits of art, you don't have to be an artist. You just have to be open-minded, just like children who don't think when they want to make art. They just let their imagination go wild without any inhibitions. Today we will sketch and paint a tree. A tree represents stability, growth, harmony and strength. I hope you will feel these attributes during and after you paint this tree. So let's get started and see you on the other side. You need a soft sketch pencil. I'm using Faber Castle 3B and I've got a sharpener. I like to keep my pencils sharpened and uh, this is a really good one, also Faber Castle and um, i've got a white smooth sheet i'm going to be sketching a tree this is a really good subject to draw when you feel anxious anxiety is a form of worry or fear that can give you physical symptoms that can be mild or severe like headache or increased heartbeat or stomach ache um, it can vary from person to person but in most cases, anxiety is irrational or for no logical reason. What you fear may never actually happen. Art can help you relieve stress caused by anxiety. And due to mind-body connection, stress can take form of uh, various physical ailments. Creating symbols of hope in art, such as a tree, can have a lasting positive effect on your mental and physical well-being. If you have hope, there is no way you can experience anxiety, just the way a healthy and stable tree has deep roots. Now I will color this tree with these pencils, which are watercolor pencils. The brand is Faber Castle. Once I have filled the colors with these pencils, I will go over with a wet brush so to have an effect of a watercolor. And also I'm using um, a few different shades to give a three-dimensioned look to the tree. Because this is an expressive art exercise, I'm making the roots of the tree visible. I feel that the roots as if they are the neurons of my brain. Deeper the roots and the stronger the tree. Healthy mind, healthy body. Just the way birds, squirrels, animals, even human beings want to be around and on a healthy tree, if you are healthy and happy, people would want to be around you as well. And expressive art has a potential to make you happy. As Picasso famously said, art washes away the dust of everyday life. In my first hand experience, it definitely does. So back to talking about what I'm doing here, I'm using lighter shades also to, as I said, give a 3D effect to the tree and on some branches light may be falling. Although this tree is imaginary, I'm not copying it from any particular image, it's from my mind. So these pencils can be turned into water paints. I'm going over with a wet brush to make the texture a bit smooth and darker. If you're using similar materials and my method of drawing and painting, please make sure this brush is just moist and not uh, water not dripping from the brush. Otherwise, your painting will become very patchy. But there is nothing wrong or right in art. If that's what you want to do, do give it a try.
You can switch back to pencils if you feel the tree needs a little more shading. I'm doing this because I feel that I need to make some areas more dense. These are acrylic pens. Posca is the brand and I will be making leaves with them. If the pens are new, you need to shake them a bit and until the ink comes out. And these really work well where you want to draw lines or uh, little objects like leaves as I'm doing. This is dark green. I want to make some leaves darker. I think these leaves are looking almost black. Um, it is dark green, trust me. In the video, it's looking even darker. I'm going to tone it down with a lighter green and balance the color a bit. I like the roots, they have the potential to be wider and deeper, but I like the way they are. If you like, you can make the ground and make the roots invisible. I'm just going to draw a few lines where the ground begins so that my tree doesn't look like it's uh, flying or floating in the air. I want to add some color to my tree and I'm using this pink to add some flowers. Uh, it reminds me of a cherry blossom tree. Isn't this beautiful? Look up and close. Oh, I love this pink. Maybe I will make another cherry blossoms tree from a real picture. Who cares which season is it? I hope you feel motivated to make loads of trees and other art. Please share in the comment section what you think and uh, also what you've made. I love to travel. Look at this picture. This is from Lisbon, how strong and tall the tree is, hugging the sky and lights shining through the trees these pictures from my travels and I'm sitting under the tree and uh, playing on the tree so I hope you appreciate nature and draw walk meditate be well <laughs>